Hey, Big Sur Patcher fans, the wait is over. Ben Sova has released Patch Sur version 1.0 and it now supports seamless Mac OS updates. We do not have to get a USB and install the newest version on there to perform an OS update anymore. All we need to do is go into Ben's brand new application version and click update Mac OS and it will download the latest version, install it and you'll be right back on up and running again. It is seamless it's wonderful and it's easy. This has been my number one question. How do I update now that I'm on patch sir? Well, this is it. I'm going to go over how to install. I'm going to go over how to update. I'm going to go over where those files go, a little bit of troubleshooting, and I'm going to go over a live demo of how to get your version of patch sir application updated to the latest version and then update. We got a lot to cover. Let's jump in and get started. Okay, I switched over to a screen sharing so we can see better what's going on here. I'm going to go over the first part here on this, and then I'm going to switch over here to my early 2013 MacBook Pro, which we have Mac OS Big Sur 11.0.1, and we want to get to the latest version. And in the future, it could go all the way up to 11.6 or greater, but today in this video, it's 11.2.3. So we're going to upgrade to that one. But again, this is going to work for any version of Big Sur into the future. So as long as it has a full installer. And I wanted to talk a little bit about why we need to use the full installer to do this. With the Big Sur update redesign, there's no longer downloadable updates in a package form that we can use to possibly update that way. So we don't have to download the full installer. Since Apple stopped doing that, our only choice right now is to use the full installer to update. So for example, if we want to go from 11.01 or if you're on 11.1 or 11.2, if you want to get to 11.2.3 or a future version, you have to download the full macOS installer, which is 13 gigabytes. There's no way around that right now. But again, the way this is set up is that all we need to do is open the app and fire up the download process. And I'm going to get to that. So this is our test box and this is what we're going to be going over. So you probably already have patch sir on your Mac and it's ready to go. So what do we need to do to get updated to the latest version? So let's go over here and we'll open up our patch sir. In this demo, I'm on patch sir 0.0.6. So you could be on 0.7 or any of the previous releases and you wanted to get to version at the time of this taping version 0.1.1. Ben's always releasing new versions so it could be a higher version than that what we're doing today. How do we get updated? And again if you don't remember all you need to do is go to your applications folder and you'll see the patch sir application right here and all you need to do is double click on that and you'll be in here and you already know that because at any time you update or the first time you installed patch sir you would have to run the patch kex to get the wi-fi working on all the versions and except the late 2013 imac a lot of questions were like hey why do why don't i have to run patch kex on my iMac, my Wi-Fi is already working. You're one of the lucky ones. You do not have to do that. We are on version six. We want to get to 1.1 so we can start doing automatic updates. We're going to click update Mac OS and this is going to take us right to Ben's updater for patch sir application. So let's go there and you can see that Ben's made the new version of 1.1 available for you to be able to download right here. You don't have to go out to the GitHub to, to download and install. It's ready to go right here. You don't want to skip because you want this version because you will not be able to update Mac OS to the latest version with, without getting to 1.0 or greater. So all we need to do is click on download update. Now all we need to do is click on patch sir again to open up the new version and here we are version 1.1 and look the new interface is showing us that the Mac OS Big Sur 11.2.3 update is ready to go. We've got a couple new buttons here. We've got start the Mac OS update. We've got release notes and you can click on here and hey 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 we've got my site up here showing the latest all the latest patch notes here. That's awesome. Thanks Ben. And we also have update track. We can change this but normally we want to leave it on release unless you want to change it to be on a beta release to test for example 11.3 is in beta right now you can configure your notifications to get notification alerts when there's a new update and we can go back if needed so let's jump in and start the update let's click here and before we start the updater uses the start os install binary in the background and it needs your account password to be able to run that binary to update mac os so all we need to do is enter our account password in here and hit continue 
The first part of this is going to be downloading the text, and the next part is going to be downloading the entire Mac OS Big Sur installer 11.2.3. Now what we can do here is this is gonna take a while depending on your internet connection, but the best thing we can do is we can watch the counter that Ben put in here so we can see the progress. We can also run Activity Monitor to view the download speed. And we can click on Network, and we're gonna see right here the data received per second. So I'm getting about anywhere between three and four megabytes a second download directly from Apple servers. So we can go back to patch sir and watch this go here. And this will take a little bit. Again, if you have a really fast internet connection, that 12 gigs will download really fast. And if you don't, it'll take a little bit longer, anywhere between 10 and maybe 20 minutes to a half hour of download time. So I'm gonna let this go. And as soon as it gets close to being done, we'll hop back in and watch what happens next. Okay, we are getting very close to the end of the download. We're almost at 10 gigabytes out of the 12 gigabytes needed of the full installer. So before we get to that, I wanted to talk about a couple things before we, this machine restarts to the update. The first thing is, is that before you update to the new version, I always recommend that you back up your system always every single time uh, again os updates even fail on supported Macs, so it's it's very rare but it does happen and you don't want to lose all your data if you have important files on the system and you want to do an update the next thing is i wanted to talk about some troubleshooting we talked about how it was easy to update the patch sir app by just clicking update patch sir and you were updated to the new version of 1.1 but let's say that doesn't work for some reason or you're in an older version of patch sir and the update fails so all we need to do is go to the patch sir github site and i'll include a link in the description and this is the landing page for patch sir and all you need to do is go to the releases page over here on the right click on this and it'll bring you to the latest release all you need to do is click on the post install app dmg here and it'll go down to your downloads folder give it a second and when it's done it'll jump up and down real quick you click on that and click on this app and this will just update your post install app and the post install app is only for updating and patching the text. So all you need to do is drag this right to your folder, our applications folder here, and you got the latest version. And again, that's only if the updating fails in the automatic updater part. Most of the time it works just fine, but I wanted to go over that in case you're having troubles. Another thing you can do is look at where the patch surf files are located. They are located in your user folder. So go into Macintosh hard drive and I have hidden files located and, and all you need to do to show hidden files is shift command period and you can go back and forth. So we'll go into users and go into your user folder and this is where the patch sir hidden file is. So go shift command period and you'll see all the hidden files in your main home folder and there's our patch sir. Inside here is where the install assistant package, the full installer is downloading it. As you can see, it's almost there. It's at 10.74 gigabytes and it's almost finished. The updated patch sir zip goes into here. It unpacks the zip and the new version is installed into applications. If the updater is having trouble, you can delete these two and then click update again and it should work with no problems. One thing I wanted to mention too is that sometimes the patcher will might leave the install assistant package here and you want to be able to clean that up if you're not paying attention or you're not going to this folder. What's nice is that Ben actually has a area where you can do that. So go back to the patch sir app, go into patch sir up here and go into preferences and you'll see a clean leftovers that says sometimes the patch sir accidentally leaves little leftovers from something that is run. This could at times have 12 gigabyte of storage that you could clear up. So all you need to do is click on this button to clean leftovers. If you're having a problem running the CAX package after, you can click show the CAX log here. And if you're having slowness on one of the older devices, you can disable animations and you can enable and, and disable graphics switching here. Also, you can con use this button to contribute your experiences when you're using the app. If you find something that's not working, and that's another neat little feature that Ben put in there, is that when he shows the update, it shows that if any users have reported a certain function, like let's say AirDrop is not working, particularly in this, in this update, they'll put a warning there that, hey, maybe you should wait a little bit before you make the update. So that's that. So again, here, here we are getting very close, and we'll be right back. 
Okay, we're getting very close to having a finish here. Before we finish though, I wanted to show you the software update inspector application that I use to be able to see the information about the macOS updates. So, and this is what you can see here. I've got the macOS Big Sur full installer for the 11.2.3 update highlighted here. And you can see that the exact size is 12.22 gigabytes. So you can see we're getting very close to being able to download. And when you double click on here, you can see all the packages and here's that install assistant.pkg that's downloaded directly from Apple servers. And that's what the Patch Sur app is doing right now. So once this finishes, I wanted to explain a little bit what, about what happens here. The next part is, is as soon as it downloads, it's going to unpack the macOS install Big Sur application and then it's going to start the start OS install binary and the start OS install binary can be used to upgrade Mac OS or even do perform a clean install, but it's just going to do the upgrade. Keep in mind, this process is going to be a little bit longer than a standard update if you had a patched Mac, for example. And those updates are combo and delta updates, which are usually between three and four gigabytes in size, and they take a lot less time than using the full installer like we're gonna do here. So it'll take a little bit more time, anywhere between 20 and 45 minutes is the usual install time for when we perform an update like this it's good the system's going to go down and you'll see the progress bar and it'll tell you how long it's going to take for the update to finish and then once it comes back up all you need to do is fire up the application and click patch text and you're good to go that's it once this is finished here we're going to go to the second phase and the second phase is is that it has to unpack the installer and then prepare the update and i'll show you that in a second here Okay, we're preparing the update. Now, this is the, the phase that I was talking about, the unpacking and starting the OS installer. So this is what's, what's happening in the background is the update is preparing. And if we wanna see what's going on here, we monitor the install log so we can open up a new tab here in terminal and we can monitor the install log with tail. And the F is to show a continuous log, bar log, install.log and you can see that it's preparing the update here and this gives you uh, Ben does put a very nice because this is what is happening in the installer right now and the preparing will go from zero all the way up to 100 and as soon as it gets to the 100 that's when the system is going to go down for a reboot here okay we are ready to go now the only reason why it didn't it basically got to 100% and it did not restart because I had the terminal window open. If you don't have a terminal window open, this system will go right down to the update. So all I need to do here is click terminate and this is gonna go down for the update. And there it goes. Look at that, isn't that great? The next phase is gonna reboot and it's gonna to go to directly to the installer and it's gonna start doing the upgrade. And like I said, that's gonna take anywhere between 20 minutes and maybe up to 45 or 50 minutes. So we will be back after the jump and we'll finish up. Okay, we're back. That whole update took about 40 minutes on this early 2013 MacBook Pro. So it wasn't too bad at all. We're back at the login screen. All we need to do is log in and we've got one more step and we are complete. And notice that the optimizing your Mac notification comes up, that spotlight indexing, that's re-indexing the drive. So it might be just a little bit slow. We'll click past accessibility here and you can enable or disable Surrey if it's not enabled already. Okay, we're back on the desktop here and Patch Sur is ready to go. And we can see here that we are going to need to patch our kext because our Wi-Fi is down. So all we need to do is click on the patch kext button. It says patching your kext will get you Wi-Fi and many other things working on Big Sur installation. Without these kexts, your Mac will not be at its full potential. And let's click continue. And we need to run the administrator password of your user account to be able to perform this update here and we'll click continue and it's patching here and we'll give it a second or two here and it's going to go down for a final reboot and that's it all we need to do is click restart to finish here and the system will go down and come back up and we're done
Okay, we're back at the login window here. We'll log in again, and we can already see that Wi-Fi is connected up here. Look at that, we are done, and we are, let's verify, we are on latest version here, SW underscore verge, and look at that, 1123. We did it, and how seamless was that? I gotta hand it to you, Ben. You did a fantastic job on this, and you are already working on 2.0. I can't wait to see what's next. The fact that we are now able to automatically update macOS is just fantastic. And you can keep an eye on my patch release notes. I will also be adding a unsupported Mac section so we can get the latest information on anything that's happening with the patched versions of Big Sur on the latest update. So again, I wanted to thank you, Ben, and everyone else that has contributed to Patch Sur. Everybody putting in issues on the GitHub page Page. and again that's the way to do it uh, Ben's always working on the app so give him the time to do that by not reaching out to him directly if you can put the issue on the github page and I'll show you where that is we'll go back to the github here and you go to the issues tab here put your issue in here because your issue very well might have been already put in by someone else and you can see if you and you could say oh my issue is already on there and it looks like ben's already looking at it so that's the best way to report an issue if you're having an issue on patch sir again i look forward to what ben is going to put out in the future and if you like this video and it created value and you updated your patch sir system give this video a thumbs up it can help other people find this video so it can help them update their patch server version 2 and if you want to see more videos like this in the future click on that subscribe button and if you're already a subscriber you know i really appreciate it we'll catch you in the next video thank you